Now, the Finance Minister, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam, has explained that the government has not entirely abandoned the use of a syndicated loan for the purchasing of cocoa beans for the 2024-2025 crop year. This comes after Cocoa Board announced a strategic shift from external borrowing to self-funding for the upcoming season. However, when journalists asked for clarity on the planned transition, Dr. Min Adam revealed that Cocoa Board is still seeking alternative means to secure the syndication alongside the proposal. Cocoa Board CEO Joseph Wine Edu at a recent media briefing announced that Cocoa Board will break its 32-year reliance on offshore borrowing for cocoa financing. He categorically stated that Beginning the 2024-2025 crop season in September, Cocoa Board plans to self-finance cocoa purchases. This significant shift, he said, is expected to lead to some savings of an estimated $150 million. Cocoa Board, in a subsequent statement responding to the minority's claims about its strategic policy shift, described as false the assertions that international banks have rejected Cocoa Board's request and that Cocoa Board was chased away from the market. It stressed that syndicated banks submitted term sheets in response to Cocoa Board's earlier request for proposals for consideration. Despite its intention to move away from syndicated transactions, Cocoa Board said it still has committed contracts that needed to be fulfilled through the syndicated process. Finance Minister Dr. Amin Adam at a media press engagement clarified that Cocoa Board is not abandoning Cocoa syndication. He confirmed that negotiations are ongoing, although they will not secure more than $600 million out of the initial target of $1.5 billion. I want to refer you to a press release by Cocoa Board, which indicated that they were not abandoning syndication. The syndication negotiations are ongoing, except that it will not raise the total amount required to purchase cocoa. The syndication, if you want further information, I can tell you that it is not bringing in more than 600 million US. Meanwhile, the RF, the request for proposal, was up to 1.5 billion US. And so it is not being abandoned. It is being pursued side by side with alternative ways of raising funds to buy cocoa. Finance Minister Dr. Amin Adam has clarified that syndication negotiations are still ongoing. However, Cocoa Board will need additional funding from alternative sources for cocoa purchases. For CNL Business, my name is Daniel Sakiti.